Welcome to another edition of Turbo Drive Live. We're going to be playing some Resident Evil Revelation. Uh, we're going to be playing the Wii U version. Why? Because. <laughs> it's like, because, that's why. Um, mainly because the game, it, it's obviously the, uh, you know, the um, dual, st uh, you know, it's a dual stick game. Um, the 3DS version, obviously, I'll talk about more later on. And uh, yeah, we're just gonna be pl playing these uh, <laughs> the episodes of uh, the first revelations. Um, now, of course, some some of you guys obviously uh, thinking, why don't you hold this off until October? It's like uh, I'm running out of games, and I was I was gonna come back to the Resident Evil series eventually. So uh, you know, because back in October. A couple of years ago, I did a whole marathon of Resident Evil uh, games, uh, kind of like cor um, talking about the chronologically. Uh, chron chronologically is that even a word? <laughs> uh, or canically going through each story of Resident Evil um, at that time, and um, I also plan to revisit uh, the the full versions of um, certain titles that were released as well including uh, Resident Evil 2 and 3 where I have the US uh, versions of the PlayStation 1 version of 2 and 3 on my PS3 because we're lucky <laughs> so I'll plan on playing those anytime uh, sometime down the line but for now we're gonna have some revelations so uh, let's get into it Wow, that <laughs> nice boat. <laughs> so yes, Capcom. Resident Evil Revel. Actually, you know, it actually has its own voice <laughs> and whatnot. But uh, yeah, um, Resident Evil Revelations. Um, of course, it kind of obviously, you know, with the the eye and everything like that. Hmm, kind of reminds me of another game that I played on Turbo Drive Live Let's Plays that you can check out on uh, Last Minute Continue on YouTube, you know. Uh, it's uh, in a nice 10 part series that was released over the whole Halloween period of 2014. Hint, hint, wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Because it kind of has the same kind of, uh, yeah. I'm just, I'm just stalling now, you know. I'm, get on with it. Yes. Control has been set to the Wii U gamepad. Yes, we will be playing with the Wii U gamepad. Um, what not. Uh, there was download of content for the game. There was like... Uh, it was mostly raid mode and stuff like that. It wasn't so um, massive in any way, shape, or form. So We're gonna get through this. My god, it takes a lot of, lot of time to get through this. Okay, right. Here we go. So, of course the game has two modes, campaign and raid. Raid is the kind of like multiplayer, mission based kind of like, you know, you know, kind of like a game mode. But we're going to be playing the story mode, the campaign. So, let us get through this. Um, we could continue from our episode one file, but I'm going to choose new game plus. Um, you know, so I'm going to choose that one because that has the more, I think that has the more game time on that, and that's the most recent file that was saved. So we're going to play on that one. Equipment from the data has been carried over, and you will start from the beginning. Continue. Yes. We you sure do that. All the save data will be lost. Continue. Yes. That's it. Just get on with it. Get on with it. Right, um, we are going to have it on normal, because, you know, fuck casual and fucking <laughs> Infernal. Infernal is like the hardest difficulty, but, yeah. Normal, we always play playthroughs with normal difficulty, because we are, we are standard. We are the standard of playthroughs with here at Turbo Drive Live Let's Play, so. 
It is a dark and stormy night. Six oh eight PM Minute <laughs> Radiant C. Hmm, nice gun. Oh my my Hey Jill. <laughs> hey Jill. <laughs> that that's needless. <laughs> What was that thing there? What was that spinning thing? Oh, I don't know. Incredible. <laughs> it's a boat! A Queen Zenobia. Queen Zenobia? This thing is lucky to be afloat. Take Zenobia? Down. Wait. That's an anagram for zombie! So you get it. But it's, actually, it's not an anagram for zombie because Zen Zenobia is, you know, Z O N, not an M. Anyway, moving on. Uh, <laughs> what a way of getting onto the boat. <laughs> Wow, 94 minutes? Whoa! It's like, right here on this ship. See, the police would normally take about a whole week before they actually, uh, you know, respond to anything that's. Uh, oh, wait, I'm <laughs> carrying a rocket launcher. Sorry, guys. Uh, ooh, what am I doing? Um, okay, so, just, just, just try and remember what I'm doing. Um. So I have right, left, left and right on the D-pads makes me change my weapons. I have big weapons with lots of ammo, lots of ammo. And I got an infinite rocket launcher because <laughs> I beat this game on the hardest difficulty, and I I'm gonna use that to the best of my abilities. Uh, right, so we got to move on. Oh, hello. A little ch choppy today. Ring, ring, ring. I might be able to shoot it off. Sure. There we go. It's nasty. It's been abandoned for a while. Indeed it has. It's like, look at all this. Oh. Oh. Seriously, how the hell does so many people get in here? Look, there's like a bunch of skulls up there. There's like, there's like multiple people up there. Or maybe just a bunch of skulls. Predator was having a field day here. Ugh, it smells like rotting flesh. Sure. No signs of life. But I feel like something's here. <laughs> ah! Jump scare! I don't think we're alone. <laughs> of course we're not alone. Look at that. That doesn't look like just water. <laughs> that doesn't look like water. Of course not. It oozes. Beckman, could you get me a sample of that? What do you want? So I need, I need it. <laughs> so I need evidence. So I'm gonna examine it. Oh, checkpoints. There's blood coming from the ducks. <laughs> nice little jump scare there. It's arm. I've never seen this kind of mutation. I've never seen a mutation like this. Interesting. No power, which means no elevator for us. Typical. Damn technology. Right, I think, uh, can I run? Oh, that's reload. 
Um, it's not working. Of course, it's not working. Typical. It's like elevators never work. Never work when they're supposed to. This, this thing's definitely getting a, making its way around here. Oh, can't use a green herb. Can't pick up a green herb. I've got five in my inventory, so. Oh, ah, rats! Damn rats! Shorted out. To <laughs> damn right, it's shorted out. The fucking rats chewed all all the way through it. The power still works here. Can't get, you know, can't get a drink. I'm thirsty. Yeah. Ooh, Trish. Hmm. Gee, I wonder if that's a reference to another series of any kind. Devil may cry. Devil may cry. <clears throat> Sorry. Didn't mean to. Uh, you know, didn't mean to cough there. Frozen drinks. Yes. Oh, there's another cabinet over there. Not handgun bullets, but I have enough. The face is smashed in completely. Oh, he's been jasoned. What's in there? Parker, give me a hand here. Sure, no problem. <sighs> mm, nice little device there. Oh, hello. I got something. I'm picking up something on the radar. Now what? T it's a gun. A <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna take it. <laughs> ah, smells. Ugh. I'm too old for this shit. Huh? Huh? Reference? Reference? Huh? 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 Chris. Predator vision. <laughs> Hi, I'm your boss for I'm I'm your enemies for this game. Oh, hello. There we go. That took care of him. You can dodge while reloading. Yeah, oh, thanks. I've forgotten how to dodge. This explains our missing crew. This is not good. <laughs> no, Jill, it's not. Where are you, Chris? That's a good question. And for that, let's have a transition. Yes, Resident Evil Revelations. Oh. Okay. Apparently that was episode one. Or, this is now episode one, so we were pray playing through the prologue, I guess. By the way, if you're in the IRC, uh, if you're in the Twitch chat, you're more than welcome to sound off like, so. And now, it's NTS News, with a special report. This sunny and idyllic Mediterranean coast was the site of one of the world's greatest structures. It took a full 11 years to finish constructing the world's first Aquapolis, the floating city of Terra Grigia. Hmm. A sustainable metropolis operating on a massive solar This isn't a reference to anywhere in the world, the is it? Hmm. Green technologies. Never before had Gee, solar I wonder energy what they're trying to say. Supply power to an entire city. But in 2004, Veltro, a terrorist group opposing the city's <laughs> development. Vel yeah, Veltro, not Veltro. <laughs> 
It's like, guys, we need a new name for our terrorist group. What should we call ourselves? Uh, uh, sorry, sir, I'm just being distracted by this Velcro. Velcro. Veltro, thank you, thank you, uh, thank you, soldier. Like, uh, no problem, sir. Man, how does it work? So, go this way now. The BSAA, a counter bioterror NGO, which operates independently of the interests of any one country, went in as observers to assist the FBC. Realizing the need for immediate so, yeah, okay. FBC and uh, the BSAA. Obviously, we we kind of know who the BSAA are from uh, Resident Evil Five as we play through here on Total Drive Live. So. No explanation needed. Panic. <clears throat> Following the incident, the FBC announced it has successfully disbanded the terrorist group called Veltro. Yes, we have. We truly have done our job right. And a sense of calm and security is finally returning to the people. But, as you can see, the lost city of Terra Grigia remains inaccessible. A silent and potent symbol of the threat that bioterror poses for people around the world. See terror! It always lingers. Christ, I mean seriously, it's like we need to have a Resident Evil game try to invoke kind of like uh, you know, like you know, the threat of terror. Seriously, you see. Ah, there you two are. Anyway. O'Brien, you don't Sit. normally join the fray. O'Brien! Well, my doctor told me where's your, exercise. Where's your, where's your glass of whiskey there, O'Brien? He's the like, like, you're very sober own. today. <laughs> However, in the past few weeks, a number of mysterious carcasses have washed up. I guess Sit. the mysterious FBC carcasses. couldn't cover up a mess this big, huh? Anyone who knows what happened here is going to put two and two together. <laughs> And that's why I've sent the BSAA in to investigate. Did you pick up your new equipment from Clint? Yeah. Genesis. Uh, Shit. Something. That's not a Genesis! How's its name? You didn't bother to read the manual, did you? <laughs> no. Uh, <laughs> yeah, real men don't Just read manuals. I hope you read quickly. Tim the Taylor. Tim the Taylor. <laughs> Tim the Taylor. Two men Taylor taught me that. I'm on it. Yeah, that was quite a tongue full for that one, yeah. <laughs> and he said, Yo, look! <laughs> I found it! Ha ha! <clears throat> right, top. Genesis Manual, version 1.09. 1. Or 1.0.9, 1. even. Genesis. Or as we like to call it, from now on, here here on Turbo Drive Live, we are gonna be nicknaming this the Mega Drive, okay? Because reasons. Because fuck you, we're UK, and that's how we're gonna roll. <laughs> this is the nickname for the high level bioscanner currently being tested and developed by the Global Pharmaceutical Con uh, Consortium, okay? The GPC, I guess. It bounces special synthetic uh, radiation off a, a target in order to analyze it. Viral analysis. It is possible to dete uh, detect and an analyze even the smallest amount of viruses. Uh, vaccine manufacturer. Since version, <laughs> since version 1.0.4, wow, there's even more versions of this, it has been possible to produce simple vaccines from a viral analysis analyst data I sw swear this 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 thing updates as much as uh, you know the PlayStation portable sometimes uh, use, using synth detection using syn synchro but, but I fuck it I can't read <laughs> synchrotron radiation I guess that's how it is it is possible to detect specific objects the data for bullets Medical herbs, etc., are registered within the internal memory of te for testing. <laughs> but it cannot detect a cheese sandwich. If a detectable object is nearby, the indicator in the lower right area of the monitor will light up. And it go beep 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 beep. 
Alright, okay, investigating course. Well, I want to go up here first because I want, want to explore. Uh, we hold down the uh, the left bumper to take out the Mega Drive. Our Mega Drive. I'm gonna call it the Mega Drive. I'm going to run that joke into the ground. I swear. Ah, look anyway. at this mess. Oh, they're rotted to hell. <laughs> Just a blooming thing. And then we lock on with the 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 RZ the button. Requires a decent Mega Drive. Get an reading. The Mega Drive requires the decent things. Yeah. Good. I will do that. Have a look at this. Oh, metal detecting. From inside it. There's something inside. Careful now. Don't worry. I've done this before. Yeah. <laughs> Get my hand right in there. It's not the first time Jill's fisted anything. Hey, hey, hey. Sorry. It looks like a vowel, uh, you know, uh, a, you know, this could prove a link. container. I'll run some tests. On okay. this. Continue with the investigation. Yes, give it to me. I'm sure I'll take care of it. <laughs> As I walk in place. <laughs> sure, there's anything else here? No. Out there. That's where Terry Grigio was. Has it been a year already? Yes, I know. Time flies. I think someone already raided this place. Yes. Of course the FBC would be raiding this place. Terra Grigio, solar tower. Yeah, I don't think solar power was that effective in 2003. More pieces of meat. Biological meat. Can I get one up there? Yep. Thank you. And up five percent. Yeah, so you kind of like use the mega drive. Don't complain, I am going to keep saying that. Oh huh! Ah, it's moving! It Shoot it! Shoot it! Shoot it in the mouth! Let's fit the fucking Ah did that I did that I don't I am not fully equipped at the moment Just gotta scan it while it's still active Ah oh, it's dead now thank god I suppose. I'm sorry, but I didn't have to deal with giant blobs. Okay, fair enough. I had to, uh, you know, Jill had to uh, deal with a giant like worm. Still. Sure. We'll do. We'll do, Capitan. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm doing it. Ah, damn it. Yeah. I'm sure I could have killed those birds. Ah, Jesus Christ! Oh, that smell must have ruptured from gas. Christ, what a mess. Must have been you know, holding in a fart, that one, I guess. Gas. <laughs> scanning more meat. Scanning meat. Scanning meat all over the place. Found a grenade. Might be useful. Who knows? Who knows? Got, got an item. Okay, I got another kind of thing. Do, 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 
Something else around here, because obviously that uh, thingy is kind of like wing, you know, like that th that yellow thing in the corner. In that corner, you can see it. You can see it on the hub. It's like they, you know, it's indicating that something else is around here. Hey dude, how you doing? Trying to get to know the real me? Uh no. <laughs> I don't think I don't think the Mega Drive works that way, man. Sorry. <clears throat> oh damn it. Yeah, this is just a typical run, run of the mill kind of like situation. Yeah, you know, doing it all the time. You know, it's like it's daily work. Nice work. No doubt about it. These corpses show signs of viral infection. Yep, sure do. It's like chunks of meat walking around. That's not an everyday thing. Well, we did all we can. Now we wait for the results to come back from HQ. Yep, time for some good old-fashioned paperwork. Oh, it's emergency yeah, line. <laughs> it's me. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yes. Hmm? What? <laughs> yes, that's fine. What? Take it from here. The Hawks lost again? Damn it! We'll have to speed things up. <laughs> Starting now. Uh-huh. <laughs> sure. Good. Get Good. Going. It's like as I have my dead eyes. <laughs> as I yeah. look Parker. directly into the camera. Whoever Jessica is. Where? How? Oh. We're not certain. I've sent their last known coordinates to your terminals. So, I just recently did that, right now. Hmm. The signal was lost over the ocean. I thought they were in the mountains chasing Veltro. But judging from their position, they must be... On a ship. To, on a ship. I'll go back yeah. to I, I, I just want to point that out, guys. Yeah. You two will so, be my they might be in the middle of the ocean, but... Yes, it's on a ship, okay? It's like, it's not on an island or anything like that. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> Was it going into that thing? Was like, something <laughs> Anyway, next, let's go on. It's like decent ranking there. It's like rankings I don't care um, for, uh, especially in this Wii U version. It's like for Wii U, there is achievements and stuff like uh, for the Wii U version in all versions actually. There is achievements for uh, the game. However, it's not so problematic with the Wii U version and whatnot because you know, there's not an overall kind of like Wii U achievement system I hope not. and whatnot. It's all in game and I don't care. No one's saying Chris is dead. Who all said right. Chris was dead? Then let's find him already. Yeah, let's find him said let's end this game already. Let's get on with it. Yeah. It's like time is money. Was that the lock? It Did out. it just unlock itself? Yeah. I guess it was right locked here. before. 
Copy that. I'll radio you if I pick up Chris's trail. But before we do that, let's scan that. This thing has a lot of similarities to the corpses on the beach. There's an item found as well. Yeah, you can find items. That's handgun. Which I don't need. Because I got an assault rifle. <laughs> yeah, so you can find tons of items hidden around. So the Mega Drive is very handy for uh, finding stuff. And that's all the items found in this room, so that's good. Let's go through here. You also use the Mega Drive for other things as well. You can find, uh, what was it, uh, hidden handprints in certain locations. They're very hidden, like proper hidden, like, so have to be very careful. It's definitely a guide Chris. thing. Chris! So, Chris! Chris! On, wake up, man! Me. Wake up! Stop slacking off, man! I found Chris, but he's trapped in there. Can you get him out? No, it's a tough lock. I need the key. <laughs> what, your your unlocking skills don't work, Jill? On that lock? Tuh. What kind of master of unlocking are you? There's something down here, of course. Just green herb, that's fine. I'm sure it'll come in handy. Now, there's no actual run button in, uh, I, I believe. Yeah, there's no run button. Um, um, with uh, the first revelations. Because obviously, you know, going, going at full tilt with the uh, analog stick, obviously, did that. Oh, hello. Yeah, you always be, you know, taking out the the Mega Drive. Hey, guys, shut up. Okay. You know, I'm going to keep calling it calling it the Mega Drive. Okay. Cause that's the joke. But uh, <laughs> yeah, um, yeah, always scan. You know, if you're going into places, always scan places and whatnot, just to be sure what's hidden. Because you never know, something something handy might be around. There's another item that's somewhere else. Oh, hello! Take care of you. Now, of course, when you're dealing with enemies, it's best to uh, scan them before you kill them because you actually get more percentage um, when you when they're still alive and they're still walking around and whatnot. Yeah. You also notice that this game is very claustrophobic with its tight corridors and whatnot. So definitely a returned form. For the series, that's why a lot of people kind of like said when th this came out for, um, um, you know, for uh, you know, it came out on the 3DS the same year as Resident Evil 6. Uh, so a lot of people were saying this is the game that Resident Evil 6 should have been. And it's like, really? Yeah. Oh, there's a specific door. With a specific emblem, so that, that's gonna be coming to play later on. More collectibles. There's another, another door with a uh, lock. Oh, hello. What? No! My god, she's dead! And we hardly knew her. Oh well, poor thing. Ah well. You live and die, I guess. Oh wait, that's not how the song goes. Sorry. 
Oh, oh, don't mind me, guys. Don't, don't mind me with uh, your, uh, your activities. Uh, that's me, at one hundred percent. Yeah, don't mind me. I'm just, I'm just uh, passing through. Don't mind me. What's going on? I found a survivor. The BOW's got her, though. Mm hmm Who was she? I'm still trying to piece that together. Oof. Whoever she was, she was well not prepared for this place. Ah, it's crew quarters area key. Parker, I couldn't find anything out on the woman, but I did find a key. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I couldn't find anything about this woman that has just recently just got murdered uh, and whatnot, but I did find the key though. Yeah, but she looks like she's from another organization. Yes, especially with that, you know, open clip. Who wears something like this? It's like, what, what is this, standard issue? Kind of like, you know, you know, kind of like fucking, um, you know, kind of like stealth gear? It's like, seriously? Honestly, uh, shotgun shells. <clears throat> I gotta check, change my shotgun anyway. Like... Okay, oh, hello. Hey, you're coming from the vents now, aren't you? Yeah, inventory full. Yeah, you can't scan any of the, those guys now because if you got, um, you can only hold five. You know, like it uh, showed you in the <clears throat> that one segment on the uh, beach. You can uh, do that, and of course, I've got this open now, so that's good. Grenades, grenades, grenades. Oh, more guys. What's up, boy? See, see, you never learn from Sonic the Hedgehog. Yeah, it's like, yeah, taking a ride in in that uh, washing machine there. Oof, you're a fool, man. Great aid idiot. In the items here. There's no one over there. Machine gun ammo. And, um... Okay. This place is clear. Let's keep going. But yeah, I was talking about the hidden hand handprint um, thing, collectibles in the game. Those are very annoying. Oh Jesus! It's like just coming out of my blind spot. Why don't you? There's something in the toilet. But not this case. Oh, hello. Definitely melted a little bit <laughs> worse. <clears throat> Do, 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 do. I think there was shotgun shells here. Yeah, there was. Good. Uh, another set of shotgun shells. Nice. See, all the monsters are coming in to impede my progression now. Jill. 
Oh, Jesus. Come on. Christ. We got to help Chris. Dude, don't scare me like that. Right. Yay, Chris. we saved Chris. Chris? Chris, are you alive? Oh. Uh What is this? Oh, great. A fake. <laughs> it's a trap. <laughs> it's a trap. <laughs> oh. Oh, well, don't put a little emphasis into that, man. Jesus. <clears throat> Episode 1, Into the Depths, completed, or ended, even. Yeah, I took my time play playing through the game. Ah, fuck it. Yeah, BP is uh, something that's earned uh, throughout the game. And of course, the, uh, the episodes were uh, separated into different sections. So you have, like, episode 1-1, one, one, episode 1-2, one, 1-3, one, you know, and then you get an overall grade at the end, which is an S rank. Nice. Anyway, let's continue on with the next episode. Now, of course, the one thing with these previously on Resident Evil. Yeah, you got a previously segment. We lost contact with Chris and Jessica. So, just based on the episode you just played. Queen's Anomia. Right here. So this is. So if you forgot all about this, like literally, like 20 minutes ago, here's your recap. I think it's a gun. That ass! This is not good. <laughs> that didn't happen. Chris. That did. That did. Chris! What is this? Oh, he Chris. lost his head. Shit. <laughs> it's a trap. <laughs> it's time you learned the truth. Time to play the game. It's Valentine. Resident Evil Trademark Revelations. <laughs> Episode 2, Double Mystery. Get it? Because it's a double mystery. Where did Chris go? Where's he? It's like, we were bruised into it. We, we were goaded. Goaded into this place. Six forty-two p.m. Mountains in Europe. It's always like a vague place. And it's like, some mountains in Europe. You know, it, what, it can't be Everest? You know, Mount Everest, maybe? Slow down. Or maybe the Alps. How about the Alps? Oh, Say the Alps next time. I certainly hope so. My feet are killing me. Our source indicates the camp is on the far side of this peak. Hey, hey, how you doing, Roger? <laughs> nice to see you back here. Roger Craig Smith, everybody. <laughs> I still can't make contact with HQ. Who'd have thought we'd be stuck out here for so long? Yes, of course, uh, Roger Craig Smith uh, repri reprising his role as Chris Redfield. Of course, he was in Resident Evil 6 before he made his appearance here in Revelations. He also has a Mega Drive as well. I'm go of course, I was able to get uh, the 100% uh, from the last episode. So I can use it in here. Now, in Chris's segments, obviously Chris's segments is a little different. Uh, go on. I am kicking around here somewhere. Ah, hello. Take that. Shotgun shells. Now be behind it. Always have to go back. Yeah. Do a little backtracking. Make a little love. Not with her. I'm guessing she's Jessica. Oh, come on. I want to... Yeah, no, okay, fine. Guess guess she's a little more timid. Yeah, doesn't want, want anyone to look at her ass. 
Even though she was bending over in that one cutscene. What the hell? Oh, the plane! The plane! The plane! Oh my god! It crashed! My god! It's like... There shouldn't be any shipping routes in this area. And the intel we got on Veltro was on the money. Come on. It's like, we were right. Hmm. It's like, the plane! And it's like, what plane? It's like, okay. Jesus. No one could have lived through that. <laughs> of course. No one. Investigate the except the darkness. I mean, the, the evil. Handgun. Oh, we got a file over here. <laughs> it's kind. Of, you say this cra this plane crashed horribly. Everything's burning and whatnot. This file, however, is still intact, like fully intact, still legible. <sighs> anyway, on handling the new prototype, there will be a new prototype introduced on this mission. All mission participants are urged to use extreme caution. One. When handling the special prototype, all instructions by the handler must be followed at to the letter. Two, in the event of an emergency, follow the contingency guidelines in the hazards and in emergencies manual. <laughs> Just be aware: if it ever burns up in uh, burns up in any way, shape, or form, you're screwed. <laughs> Just gotta say, tell you that. Three. Once the prototype's abilities have act activated, it will be impossible to control them. The prescribed set of it must be administ ever administrated every hour during transport. So yeah, you have to sedate the blasted thing constantly on the hour, every hour, in order to keep it, you know, from going rogue. <laughs> I guess someone forgot... <laughs> I guess that's probably the reason why it crashed, is because someone forgot to... Forget Maybe everyone was on their break and they would just like and say, Hey Jim, what's the time? And it's like, oh, it's uh, 4.05. 4 Wait a minute. 4.05? Shit! <laughs> it's like, 4. <laughs> While it is possible to control the special prototype, its behavior in the field cannot be accurately predicted. When control is no longer vi viable, please contact HQ on the dedicated line. <laughs> It's like, it, when control is no longer viable, <laughs> it's like, just call up, call up our, call up our customer services. It's like, uh, hello, uh, HQ, HQ, uh, call center, how may I help you? <gasps> Dear God, please help us! We got, we got a run, we can say we got the shit. I was like, okay, calm down, sir, calm down. Have you tried resetting the settings to your, to the thing? What the fuck do we need to reset for? It's like nothing needs resetting. Get my Mega Drive out. Get more some more shotgun. Oh, oh, there's more stuff here. More handgun ammo. Nice. Right. Oh. Yep, he did. He did. Although, Grant, yeah, he, okay, I'm sorry. What? what? Okay, there's there's two pilot seats. There's nobody in one seat. Uh, so he didn't even have a co-pilot. I better use the Mega Drive. <laughs> Let's use the Mega Drive. Ah, the flight plan. Manifest should give us a lead to work with. Let's see. They were headed for Falcon and Mock Airport. If that's hmm. where they are, this mine should take us there. Yep. Okay. So yeah, uh, judging by that name, it sounds like we're in a Russian kind of like uh, place. Oh, never herb. More bullets. Never herb. We're okay. 
Jessica, I need a hand. <laughs> Get over here. <laughs> Move that skinny ass. <laughs> it's like, why do you need a hand? You can punch a rock. <laughs> you can punch boulders. It's like, why do you need a hand lifting up this? This cave is too cold. You should have worn your thermal underwear. Actually, I forgot to mention, this actually takes place bef hey, uh, between Resident Evil 4 and Resident Evil 5. Uh, well before the events of Resident Evil 5. Um, so, uh, yeah. <laughs> that joke is totally gonna be... It's like, yeah, uh, uh, oh, hello. Oh, you think they're infected? Okay. Hmm. Apparently those Looks dogs way, just disappeared it? on the face of the earth. Stop them before anyone gets hurt. Yeah, namely us. Judging by how things are looking out to be. Okay. Do, 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 do. Let's go this way. Ah, damn it. Job, motherfucker. Okay, what uh, X is to use the herbs, so I'll learn that. Drive. Oh. Ah. Ah. Ow. Damn it. Good. Oh, there's something else over there. Yeah, you know, so it's always best to be safe and sorry, and that's another herb. Nice. I'll be needing that. Ah, uh, we got B B O W D coys. Interesting. And I've got maximum handgun ammo, so Let's reload my shotgun before going into this area. Oh. Oh, damn it. kicking around here and just need to pick up those shotgun shells. What are you looking at? Mm -hmm. and another BOW decoy. I'm sure they'll come into play nicely. <laughs> I love it. I love it how in the the, re the reload animation when you're uh, you know reloading a, a shotgun it's hilarious. 
Yeah. While while you're running, of course. Yeah. Just like a reload. Was what? Stay focused. To who was what? Stay focused. Yeah, my partner from before. What about it? Yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah, I think so. She's she's all right. Of course, this uh, Jessica girl is obviously trying to, you know, trying to get some information, if you know what I mean. Mm -hmm, yeah. Seeing if Mr. Mr. Soldier Boulder's here is, uh, you know, if he's with anyone at all or whatever. Oh, she's gone on ahead. It's a minky little mix. I'm gonna I'll get you. Oh, no! Ow! Oh god, I twisted my leg. Chris, are you okay? I can't use my shotgun. My leg. I'm not going anywhere for a while. So, I'm not going anywhere. I'm, I'm just gonna sit here. Um. Uh, ow. Yeah, sure. Good that you get, you know, get in my back. How about you just get me up, or I don't know. Maybe I could use a, you know. So yeah, you got one of these moments. God damn. Yeah, I just use a. Here, doggies! Catch the bone! Catch, get the bone! Get the bone! Alright, we'll get... Well, you and your sweet ass are taking your sweet goddamn time! First, these dog, dogs are bigger when, when up close. I did, did, did no. Trust me, when you're playing this on the harder difficulty, this is way more difficult. Hey, bitch! How about you get me up? Didn't mean to use that herb. Thanks. I'll be okay. Yeah, yeah, I'll be fine. Uh, I'll, I'll just walk it off. Bring what up? Do you trust me as much as Jill? There's no need to compare. I trust you both. Besides, trust is built through actions, not words. <laughs> That's so like you, Chris. It's always about the job, isn't it? Um, I'm sorry. Uh, red flag. Red flag. If a character is, if a character in anything uh, brings up the uh, brings up the topic of trust, they're not trustworthy. Hmm. It's blatant. Yes. It's like seriously. It's like why would a character be talking about trust? You know, like literally after like you know going through a situation where it's like it's like, do you trust me? Do you trust me? Things so, over. You know, don't trust them. You know, wrong choice. <clears throat> anyway, I don't think there's anything else here. No. Look, is that the airstrip? That's their hideout. Yep, looks like it. <laughs> looks like looks like it from this distance. Here. I read you, sir. <laughs> are you all Fork right? ball. <laughs> what kind of code name is that? Here killed our signals. We're at Falcoin and Mock Airport. Damn it. 
It's all a setup. What do you mean? <laughs> what do you mean? I sent Jill and Parker to the Mediterranean on faulty intel, but now I've lost contact with them. <laughs> Great. How? <laughs> What's going on? Chris, you better look at this. Yeah, for bioterror bioterrorism group and it's like yeah, or anti bio bioterrorism group you guys are O'Brien fucking shit uh, uh, you know Gary Intel found the Veltro crest that stories of their resurrection are true if that's the case then then the setup that got Jill and Parker it was all yeah I'd almost guarantee it yeah O'Brien definitely it was definitely this Parker. resurrected bioterrorism group not at all couldn't they have been anyone else We'll you know, couldn't be anyone else who had vendettas against Jill or Chris. No, yeah, not a single one. On. Not, not, we'll especially not here. one such person who definitely has a hatred for either of them, the size of massive city. Yeah. Anyway, moving on. That was the first section of this episode. So let's move on to the next one. Ah. Anyway, I hope you guys are doing alright. I mean, you know, the two or three of you that are kind of watching it. Including Sunrose, of course, who's broadcasting this on her own channel. 8.32 p.m. Cabin. Guest cabin. Well, at least, uh, Jill hasn't been changed out of her outfit. <laughs> That's a good sign. No signs of bad misplay, you know, bad foreplay, you know, whatever, here, at all. Just point out. Parker. Oh, apparently our comms are away. I don't know. A room, I think. Somewhere on the ship. It's a, yeah, we still have to be on the ship. Master took all my weapons. Can you reach HQ? No, comms are as it seems. Typical. Yeah. Oh look, it's still on. They're here. Had to make that reference. Okay. So uh, where am I? You're in a room. <laughs> You're in a room, Jill. It's not. It's not fucking rocket science. It looks like it's been broken for a while. <laughs> oh, okay. We got a screwdriver! There's dry. Oh, God. I'm sorry, but that guy, whoever was using that last time, whoo! He definitely had a bad run there. Oh, dirty water might be something. It? Drain the tub. It's rusted. Oh well. Oh, hello. Herb. Yeah, we li we literally. Oh, holy shit! Um, uh, okay, evade. Uh, Press set with B at the right time uh, before an enemy attack will make you evade. Okay. Okay, um, right, um, and evade! Aha! Success! Haha! <laughs> right, um, do I, do I have my Mega Drive? No, I don't have my Mega Drive. Okay, you better stand still there, okay? Is that you, you just keep having those circuits screwed out uh, there. I'm, I'm gonna work on this. Right, okay, so we got the touch screen here. Um, I've got a puzzle right here to work on so uh, yeah it's just a simple case of just putting the you know making the right connections and uh, there we go and there's the enemy it's coming it's coming to get me oh shit and... ah damn it get ah, get off the die. 
to. So, I need to rem I need to remember how how you know I need to remember the teachings of my master. It's like, it's like Mr. Piccolo. Good, he didn't see me. Oh shit! <laughs> ah, son of a bitch. That's probably gonna be used for later. Ah, oh, damn it. <laughs> They're coming out of the woodwork. Yes, Jill, just take your sweet ass time. Take your sweet ass time against, you know, just briskly jogging through this place. Yeah. It's like, it's not, it's not like anything's got to kill it, try to kill you. In any way, shape, or form. Guessing that's gonna be another area we'll need to visit sometime down the line. Oh, hey, Parker! Jill, are you okay? I'm fine, but the ship's crawling with BOWs. No! Okay, we're going to need our weapons. I think I saw them on my way here, but I couldn't reach them. Of course you couldn't reach them. We should be okay as Because you're incompetent. Through we go. Wait, there are more creatures this way. I found this though. Think we can use it? Hmm. Good. Yeah, it just might do the trick. Weapons I found are just up ahead. Hurry. Dead end. Ah, balls. Hey, why aren't you going for Parker? Damn. Oh, well, he's that herb. It's like, you know, the, the monsters are g going after me. It's like, ooh, boobies. Boobies. Oh, man. No. No, we don't want to attack that guy. <laughs> Some custom parts. Yeah, just kick the door down. Yeah. <laughs> so, screw the key! Kick it down! <laughs> There's our stuff. Retrieve stolen equipment. Back into God mode. And we picked up damage parts. Now, of course, Revelations uh, introduced. Uh, Kind of like the feature of like, you know, equipping uh, items to weapons and whatnot, and uh, of course some of them being very good. Uh, of course, me, I've got uh, you know some weapons loaded up already, so I don't really need to do do much else. Yeah. You can get a variety of different pistols and uh, you know other weapons. Including Jill Samurai's Edge as an unlockable weapon, of course. As as usual, of course, you know, it's playing. Yeah. Parker's government. So, that, you know, that's Parker's own f f weapon. And Jessica's G18. Uh huh. Yeah. All, all to name a few. But no, I'm, I'm just gonna stick with my assault rifle, machine gun. And rocket launcher combo. <laughs> yeah, you can hold up to three weapons at a time. Um, with uh, in the first Revelations game, definitely li limiting your uh, usage. Now what? Now we contact HQ and tell them what the hell is going on. We should be able to do that from the bridge. Let's go. Do 
Oh, no. Something there. I'll take that. Oh, no. Okay. Actually, I think... Uh, what is it? This is Parker's room here. Or this is the room Parker was in. So, thank you. I just said that, Parker. What's the deal with that guy in the gas mask? What's his game? He just wants to play a game. Simple as. Right. Okay, I've got enough hand grenades. Uh... Yeah, your place is just as appealing as mine was. you had the same kind of like situation I was in as well. Right, okay. Let us move on. Now that we got our weapons, actually do we want to go this way? Nope, it's locked on the other side! Yay! What did I say? Anyway, shotgun! Parker, don't do that. Okay, that's another health item. Thank God. Although I lost all the health items that I got at the start of the game. Thanks, game. Botany. <laughs> mm, botany. Mm. Yeah, Plants and medical pro properties, third edition. Humans have been have been using plants to heal wounds and cure diseases ever since ancient times. An example of one of these types of plants is a herb that grows wild in the Acclade Mountain area. Yes, they're very, very potent. The bright green herb on, not only heals fatigue, but it also helps to strengthen a naturally natural healing process, the natural healing process, so that wounds heal faster. So essentially, it's it's Wolverine plants. Apparently, yeah, I'm guessing Wolverine was passing by th that area of the of the United States at one time and uh, thought, you know what? Yeah, I'm just gonna, you know. You know, just grow some plants here with my mut mutagenic properties or some. I don't know. I don't know where the joke was going for. I'll just abandon that. Thank you. <clears throat> In addition, it has an active immune function that can be extremely useful against viral infection. The medical applications are vast and they are already starting to be used in the field. Please consider supplying yourselves with these herbs in order to protect yourself and your family from the recent threat of bioterrorism. So yeah, we have medical, we actually have like reasoning behind why these green herbs actually help our main main characters, our main protagonists uh, throughout this game. You know, like we needed a reason because it's, it's a fucking video game. Totally missed. Oh, hello. I knew 
knew there'd be something hiding around here. Shotgun shells, nice. Don't need handgun. Another door there. I'm sure we'll be coming back to that sooner, sooner or later. Stick him up! He was resisting arrest. You saw it. I am down here. Oh, machine gun. You know, I've got a funny feeling that that's got to be coming into play sometime down the line. Remember, always scan. Always scan. Ah, right in the face! That was a. Mm, Perfect shot to the face. Anyway. Pick up your DNA there. Still can't pick that up, so. And there's nothing in this room, so let's go. Moving on, on. Moving on, on. Moving on, on. Oh, hello. There's a safe with a card reader. Interesting. Oh, hello. Ow. That was a big one. Oh. Typical. Of course there would be one that comes out of the toilets. Always the case. All right, well, I've got maximum. I'm okay at the moment. Hmm. I don't know whether to heal now or heal later. That was a perfect shot to the face. Right, now that we've got uh, our weapons back, we can actually get through this door now. No door that's locked. There's nothing in this hallway. And it's an elevator that works! Yes! Elevators that work! Brilliant! Okay, so we can go to the lower cabins or the bridge. Uh, let's go to the lower cabins. Ah, I'll take that, and that's that door unlocked. Nice. That's good for future, you know, playthroughs. Because I'm sure we're gonna be coming through here sometime down the line. Ah. Here we are, we're at the bridge. Nothing in the hallway, okay. 
Oh, apparently this lock was already already done. Someone's already been here. Okay, there's something in here, but I can't. Okay, there's something in here, but apparently I can't find it. Typical. Oh, there's another health. Green herb. Ah, shotgun. Shotgun and that's nice. I'm at the bridge. So, I think that was kind of a needless statement there, Jill. Ooh, hello. Just another hand grenade. Yeah, it's like I'm at the bridge. It's like, yeah, you know, Parker's right there. It's like, are you just explaining for the audience? Possibly. But yeah, look at this. Mm, sabotage. It has to we be sabotage. We're completely adrift. This is recent. The perpetrator can't be far. Of course. Oh no! Damn it, Bay! Don't tell me that was the tugboat. <laughs> we'll be stuck here. <laughs> we'll be stuck here. We already are. <laughs> Christ, Jill, how the hell did you get that leg up? I mean, granted, I know women are more flexible than men, but fuck. Who the hell are you? Apparently, I'm this redhead guy with with an attitude problem, <laughs> and that was episode two, double mystery. That was that. And that was only two halves of an episode, so it's like two, one, two, two. So. On to the next chap the, the chapter episode. Yeah. Chap chapter ep chap chapter sode. Previously on Resident, Resident Evil Revelation. Plane crash! Jesus. No one could have lived through that. Of course. Yeah, kind of. Stories of their resurrection are true. Then the setup that got Jill and Parker, it was all. <laughs> it's a trap! It's a flashback! We're in a flashback! Ryan, we'll go after Jill and Parker. Make your way to the Mediterranean. Where? Damn it. Master took all my weapons. Can you reach HQ? No, comms are as it seems. Shit, we'll be stuck here. Jill! Huh? Who the hell are you? Uh, oh, you didn't you didn't replay that awesome kick that Jill did? For <laughs> fuck. Yeah. So of all the highlights in that in that highlight reel that you had, you can say you didn't want to show off the one where Jill defies defies <laughs> physics and actually lifts her leg up, you know, up. Ah, oh, never mind. Anyway, no. Anyway. Episode 3, Ghost of Veltro. Or Ghost of Velcro. Yes, hitting certain enemy areas of enemies is, you know. One year ago, Terra Grigia. Uh, we're having a flashback here. And it's this guy! That we saw in the last episode! So apparently he's been involved! <laughs> no, I can still fight, even though okay. my leg is pretty much like, city you know, is bleeding there. constantly. <sighs> so yeah, we got flashbacks sequence to Terra Grigia. Great. Your efforts are commendable. 
This is one wake up call which was long overdue. We're here. <laughs> has been breached. We're closing shop. Prepare to go home. Great. Split up and get to the helipad on the roof. That's an order. Okay. I'll cover the hallway with Jessica. And then, make sure they reach the heliport. <laughs> Fine. <laughs> Fine. They've started evacuation procedures here. O'Brien? Huh. O'Brien? What? O'Brien! I want you to know that the FBC is making a huge mistake. What? <laughs> a huge mistake to take care of a, a biological threat that's... We have been at war for three weeks in an attempt to handle Wow, this three weeks? There have been rescues, there have been losses. Too many. But any further delays would simply cripple our cause. Surely you can understand that. Oh, I can't believe you lasted three weeks, and this is how it all ended. It. Fuck. Is only a quick fix. We could lose crucial evidence. Use of the satellite. Yes, evidence. We can clean up. Like evidence ever cared in this fucking series. You know, like the mansion incident, Raccoon City, all that, all the credible evidence that was gone in those places. Men like us can exist thanks to groups like that. Hmm. And you'll just let all those people die. <laughs> so, spare me the talk. Everyone, you have your orders. Move into position. Raymond, with me. Yes, sir. Okay. Guess we're, guess we're going the other way. Kill all the enemies in the hall. I'll leave it to Lansdale to take care of the higher ups. Okay. So we can't go that way. So we are going out there. Of course, we were given our orders. How the hell did you try to teleport there? Yes, we do not have our Mega Drive in this segment. Because apparently the Mega Drive doesn't exist. Uh, in fact, the Mega Drive is a BSAA uh, device, not a. You think this is it? Not if you shoot all them sons of bitches first. Oh, here we come. They come. Open fire! I don't think it's you want to make it out of here? It's gonna be. After this, we head for the chopper. Ow. You mean to go do that, okay? Oh, damn it! How many are there? Did the Velcro make them all? Can't contain this. The world will find out. Everyone will equip Velcro with terrorism. I think that's what they're hoping. Punch. Take care of this guy. So yeah, hunters. The, the ultimate in bio weapons. Chopper. That elevator should still be operational. This 
I also use the gamepad to actually switch my weapons. I think that's the better option for myself, of course. Just blocked off. Oh, here comes more of them. Hey! <clears throat> you mind dying, please? Thank you. Oh boy. Bloody hunters. Really? Lobster? That's the best you can come up with? No. How about steak? Steak's good. Steak's more expensive, I would think. I don't know, what's more expensive? Lobster or steak? I don't know. a bit. See, now I got suck on shells there. I'm sure I'm gonna get. Yep, here we go. And the health. And the health. Yes. More shotgun shells. More shotgun shells. Documents. <laughs> Documents that will be destroyed. Yeah. The FBC's charter. The Federal Bioterrorism Commission was founded by the U.S. government to be the enforcing agent agency of the guidelines set forth in the Na National Species Protection Act (NSP) and NSPA. Okay. The document outlines the FBC's charter and the responsibilities of its members. The F FBC is charged with protecting the United States and her interests from bio, uh, biological threats. Our organization will work with other uh, countries and their respective wildlife prote protection organs organs, okay, uh, to guard public health. As such, we are tasked with ensuring the biological safety of the public at large. 
The duties of all eight FBC members include the research, training, and support of biological of the biological community. Policy policies will be fomented on a needs only ba needs only basis, with any additional budget expens expenditures. <laughs> wow, all these words, mouthful. And extraordinary activities being approved by a pla planetar plenary session of the Wa Wildlife Protection Committee. Not the wildlife, uh, uh, not the WWF <laughs> of any kind. Um, the FBC chair w is selected by the Wildlife Protection Committee. The chair's duties include co uh, complete oversight of the FBC and co coordination of all activities with respect to U.S. Can cabinet officials. The FBC chair is the final overseer of the National Animal Protection Community, uh, com Committee. All members of the National Animal Community uh, are entitled to respect <laughs> entitled to re request help from the chair. <laughs> no, 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 yeah, not not request help from the FPC. No, request help from the chair. Okay, just the chair, not the FPC chair, or I even yes, just the the literal chair. Like, no, not not the actual person who sits in the chair. No, the chair itself. <laughs> I know that's a bad joke. Um, including the secretaries of state and defense. And the director of national intelligence. However, the chair has final authority on all matters of national biological safety. So yeah. So if it comes to bioterrorism, yeah, you're pretty much, uh, you know, done. Now I'm not gonna fight any of those, you know, any more of those fucking hunters. Fuck you guys! I can run up. I can outrun you. Paper article. You know what? I'm not even gonna bother reading that. It's just, it's just gonna be, you know, a, you know, a newspaper version of the cutscene that we saw earlier in the game here. So, pointless. So, what do you think about that O'Brien guy? find something on the fifth floor but now Bullet to the face. Is 
Of course, enemies don't drop ammo and whatnot. Like, ammo is pretty much scattered and hidden in areas so you can't collect it from enemies. Are you kidding me? A dead end? No, it's not really a dead end. We can get through. Give hey, why are you just standing all the way over there? For the love of God. Oh, because of that. Yeah, they're, they're just gonna stand back there, you know. Sure. Got so much ammo here, I'm guessing this is gonna be a holding out point. It's taking its sweet ass time. I think they're here for you. It's because Ow. you're a My sweet daddy moves. Ow. Screw it, Jessica. <laughs> Jessica, what are you waiting for? Come on, get out. I had to wait for Jessica to get into the blaster thing. Jesus. Jesus, I thought it was gonna stop again. Yeah. Yeah, just you know, that just troll of us. I can't believe Morgan decided to fry the city with the solar energy satellite. Raccoon City all over again. Yes. Always has to go back to Raccoon City, doesn't it? Just like Raccoon City. We did do everything we could, right? No, no, apparently we didn't. Well, just don't forget about that lobster dinner you owe me. <laughs> when have I ever gone back on my work? Uh, who knows? Maybe you did. Get the lead out. We gotta go. Okay, ladies first. That's why I'm ahead. <laughs> ah, Parker's a lady. <laughs> K 
commence firing the laser. Oh boy. Ah! It's all right! It's triggered a chain reaction. Look, the city. Yeah, it's just blowing up because it can't take the sun. Ah! I forgot to put on my sunscreen! Oh, oh, uh, oh, 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 Capcom, you, um, uh, uh, you, you, you did know it was too soon, right? 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 We came to help, but did nothing. Yeah, we were just sitting on our asses for three weeks. <laughs> it's like, fuck that. <laughs> to help people? Fuck. <laughs> like, fuck we did. Alright, on to the next section. Ooh, 9 p.m. Bridge. Heh. <laughs> hey, so, oh, I missed! The BSAA. A little too late. Yeah, just a little too late. What's <laughs> doing here? Answer me, Raymond. Do it! Answer anything. You have no authority over this. There's no time to fight. Yeah. To you don't have any authority in this, even though we're a rival kind of like organization. Raymond, stop right there. It's like we have the same kind of like Nothing jurisdiction, you know, for the BSAA. Excuse me. Watch your remaining ammo. So the FBC is on this ship too. Good. What's going on here? <laughs> Operating without any intel. We need to search this ship for answers. Not sure. I relish the idea. Well, let's do that then. Oh, hello. Ah, <laughs> nice shot dodge. Oh, we got a helm key. Nice. Bow decoys. Custom parts. Shotgun shells. And there's a safe with a key card combination to it. Like helm key. Can we open this one? Yep, we can! Alright, so we can open up these helm doors. I'm sure there's a collectible. Up here. Ooh, no. hmm. it's the floor above us. Um, sir? Ew. Ew. It's like, oh my god, he's full of maggots. Must have been painful death. Damn right, he's got his painful death. He's got a hole in his chest. He's like a hole in his stomach. Someone just literally sliced his stomach open. And he's, there's an item in there. It's shotgun shells. Oh my god. What's this? Ah, the history of the Queen Zenobia. <coughs> uh, oh, just specs. 
uh, ship, uh, crew, over a thousand crew members, officers and crew, and up to 2,200 passengers. Yeah, interesting. The Paragus Line flagship was constructed in 1978. The interior is designed to replicate that of ships of the 1930s, the golden age of cruise ships. The design was based off blueprints left by George Trevor. Ah, George Trevor. Haven't we heard that name before? Woods. Was it? I guess I'd say. Yes, this is the Wii U version. Haha, <laughs> duly noted. I say, you have a good eye, good sir. But yeah, George Trevor. Hmm. Gee, I wonder who that was again. Oh yeah, the guy who originally created the mansion in Resident Evil. The, the, the mansion designer and all that. Yeah. Great. Great. Perfect. Oh. Jill, should, Jill should have, like, light bulbs flashing in her head based on that one name alone. Before his disappearance. Newspapers from the time of the ship's construction report accolades the design received. <clears throat> the ship herself is named after Zenobia, the queen of the Palmarine Empire, who was deposed by the Romans. Deposed by the Romans. Like the legendary beauty of her namesake, this ship is also known as the Beauty of the Atlantic and remained, remained one of the most popular cruise ships built in the 20th century. With the rise of, the, with the rise of air travel su supplanting uh, the popularity of long seafaring voyagers, voyages, it looks like the Queen Zenobia, also, along with her sister ship, was destined to be junked in the late 80s. Fortunately, she was purchased by the Par Paragus line and her steam turbines were replaced with an electric diesel propulsion system. Her hold and cabin areas were expanded and she was upgraded with the latest technology. The Queen Zenobia was reborn as a fully functioning or fully functional luxury luxury liner. After its restoration, the Queen Zenobia set out on a cruise around the world, follow, followed by one around South America and many, many others. In the future, she will find her main harbor in the Mediterranean for her cruises around Africa. The Queen Zenobia will be bringing pleasure to passengers for years to come. The History of Queen Zenobia 1995 edition. Interesting. So yes, and there's another file here as well, it's a diary. Discarded message. Oh God, please help me, There, this can't be happening, don't leave me to die in this hell, I'm trapped here, there are monsters here, real ones, everyone's dying or, uh, everyone's dead or dying, there are no survivors, shit, we are all going to die. Seppel. <laughs> Pretty much plain ass as it can be. There's a map of the ship. Oh. Oh, good eye, Parker. Good eye. We should find an emergency communication room if we go through the hall. We should go to the emergency communication room. Maybe try to contact HQ. Good. Right. Oh. <laughs> Great. An elevator that doesn't work. Great. Hmm, this is my first time playing? Hmm, um, I don't know. What does this tell you? No, I play, I've played this before. In fact, I'm playing on my completed file. I'm playing on New Game Plus. I'm just doing this for the fun. The funsies, as it is. Oh, hello. Should really scan them. There we go. Brings up to ninety percent with my Mega Drive. Okay.
Okay, uh, upper or lower? Uh, don't think there was another door anywhere else. Uh, we go lower. Obviously, uh, this is kind of like the loading times for our, for the game. Uh, elevators. There's also another place that kind of deals the same kind of like thing as well. They're 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 hidden loading times essentially. Um, on the 3DS back when it came out on the 3DS. Uh, the loading times were a lot more, you know, it's it's like, um, you didn't notice them as much, you know. Because you actually generally thought, oh, I'm just waiting on an elevator, you know, waiting to go down. Just taking a sweet time. Um, I knew there was something in the, in the clock. Oh, shotgun shells, but I don't need any at the moment because I am full. Alright, so we're back at here. That ah, oh, of course. Ah, Jesus! Ah, oh, new enemies. Ow! Yeah, that's an armor. Well, a. a uh, what, what's that? A thingy. <laughs> a thingy door. But yes, we can use the helm door on this. This opens up this. This is then, this is the other kind of like, uh, loading time in the game. Again, like I said in the 3DS version, you, j you just didn't have that feeling that, uh, you know, the game was loading up in any way, shape, or form. You actually thought that you were just waiting for uh, uh, that to happen, like, you know. Here we go. Uh. Yes. Life void. Wait, here. life. One posted a note here. No left in front of the emergency communications uh, room. This is the emergency communications room. No one gets in without my permission and uh, not without my key. If you want in, come find me at my usual spot in the promenade. Uh, prom promenade deck. Your comms officer. Here, there's a message scrolled underneath. This is crap. This is crap. The ship is crawling with freaks and monsters. I'm going to. I'm going to the pro, uh, to the promenade, whatever. Or prom, prom, promenade. Because uh, at least I can find food there. <laughs> Anyone who's still alive can meet me. Uh, meet me <laughs> up there. You know where to find me. I'm not going. Out like that, I can promise you that. Hope I'm not the only survivor. Your friendly neighborhood comms officer. Promenade deck is next to the hall. Let's go. We should be able to find the key. So yeah. Yep, yeah, promenade. Promenade. Pro the prom, the prom place, the prom deck. We'll call it the prom deck. <laughs> it's like shorten it, and say, even though there's no proms here. You know. Just simplify it.
Oh, rifle ammo. Looks like we found the promenade. to heal up now and take that herb or just forget it. We have yet to find one survivor. Of course. Yeah, I'm hearing something. Picking them up for the for the hell of it. Actually, you know what? What are those parts? Let's find out. Bar rate, damage to, bar rate to, and that was it. Okay, we're all good. Getting louder. That dude doesn't sound good. Voice coming from the other side of this door. Mayday, mayday. Mm. This is the Queen Zenobia. Uh, Emergency call number. Well, the guy's in, he's kind of asking for help, so might as well help him. I'm just gonna help him right over here. Just hear Piccolo now. <laughs> oh yeah, and uh, the the Meverse. <laughs> the uh, the, the Meverse uh, stuff. Nice. There you go. <laughs> I'm not all perfect. But yeah, I'm excited. I'm just hearing Piccolo now. Why didn't you dodge? Of course, with no proper running button, obviously, I kind of like screwed myself over. Ah! Running, running, run, 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 run! Oh no, I think this creature might be the comms office. 
sir. Oh, Jesus. Eat rockets, bitch! Whew. Is that the key to the emergency communication room? Yeah. For a lot of people playing this first time, he's quite a bastard. Like, he's really difficult to handle. here. There we go. Simple enough. I'll take us back to the to the uh, ship. I think like the uh, the uh, deck, whatever. But uh, no, we don't want to go that way. We we'll go this way. Because we need to go back to the emergency communication thingy. And uh, oh wait, oh there's a hel her hell yeah. There's a health herb. Health herb. Actually, no. I'm I'm already at full. Actually. Yeah, I'm already at full. So yeah, don't need it. Oh well. Don't need that either. Do 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 do. -do. Yes, Jill. Just my mi mildly jog. I hope the equipment in that room will work. Don't jinx us now. <laughs> yeah, don't jinx us now, Jill. <laughs> yeah, don't don't count your chickens before the hatch. It's like knowing our luck it's not gonna be working. And of course, being that we're kind of like, oh I don't know, only on episode three? It's like it's early days yet, yeah, unless this is a three episode, uh, you know, game or or five episode game. Spoilers, it's not. <clears throat> and here we go. Raymond. <clears throat> Raymond, how the hell did you get in here? Both were too late. What are you talking about? <laughs> huh. These are all fried as well. Both of you. Look. Little masked friend. <laughs> 
but if thy words be seed that may bear fruit of infamy to the traitor whom I know, speaking and weeping shalt thou see together. I know not who thou art, nor by what mode thou hast come down here. Sit. The world is in our hands. This is the Tea Abyss virus, and we are Tea Abyss virus. Hmm. Wow, it's another version of the T virus. He's turning guppies in a jaw. Guppies. And even a child could guess what will happen next. We are Veltra. Vengeful messages from the depths of the inferno. So this is our man. I knew it was Veltro. <laughs> I knew it! I swear to God, I knew it! Abandon hope all ye who enter <laughs> Totally called it! Totally called it! Oh, he's quoting Dante. <laughs> he's quoting Dante! He's, a, he's quoting Dante! What? Doubly cry Dante? <laughs> no. He's, he's quoting the Pope. What? You two, get ready to move. I hate snow. Just find out anything you can on Veltro. A bunch of slackers. I don't see a thing. I thought the Mediterranean was just like a big lake. <sighs> Be patient. Yeah, be patient, like bitch. <laughs> no kidding. But that still doesn't solve our problem. Hey, also, what the are fuck you are you wearing? wearing? We'll find you, Jill. I promise. It's like, it's like, it's like, it's not like we're gonna go swimming anytime soon. It's like, why do you have that fucking thing in your head? Anyway. That is episode 3, Ghosts of Veltro Inn. And that's where we're gonna end it for tonight. For tonight's session of Turbo Drive Live Let's Play. So, yeah, with that stellar death at that, uh, uh, at the hands of that fucking comms officer mutant. Well, not. Uh, we're gonna call that for tonight, so. Mm -hmm.